Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was finna write a song, but I've been hella stressed. But I looked in your eyes and noticed I'm hella blessed. And staring at you on the set plane, I ain't worried about nothing. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Claudia, for those of you who do not know me, if this is your first time here, please take a moment and go down below and hit that subscribe button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. Today we're standing and we're set up down here. You guys can't see it, but I will show you. We're going to be doing a DIY canvas portrait picture type of thing. So I've seen a tutorial on this on YouTube and I've kind of like figured out an easier way to do this project and so we're gonna do it together if you are interested stick with me and we are going to have some bomb canvases very affordable and super cute Right, you guys so it's pretty evident that the creative juices are flowing today so let's go on and let's get creative all these items here were purchased at the dollar store except for the picture um the actual like picture copy and then the canvases i purchased those from five and below so you're gonna need some cups some mod podge and um some acrylic paint and then some paint brushes i do should just I do suggest getting like bigger, wider paint brushes for this project. And then um, I am doing two for this video. I did two for my room. So that's why I do have two canvases. And I think two for five was a really good deal, especially because these are like quality um, canvases. But yeah, I didn't like the paint brushes that I got, but they were from the dollar store. So I'm not even gonna complain. And then I printed my pictures at Walgreen, really, really great quality. And they were like $15 each, which is kind of pricey. But this is, uh, what's it called? How do I say this? This is like, this is a dupe for those canvases that people be painting for you and people be making. You know, you can just do these yourself. And it's a fun family project for, you know, now that everything's at home and online, when you guys are bored, you want to change up your house a little bit, you know, just go on and get you some canvases, print out some pictures and get creative. The very first thing that I went ahead and did was I um, spilled or I poured the um, acrylic paint into a cup and then I do say that I wish I had a bigger paintbrush because it did take me a while and I did need some assistance so you're gonna see a second person in this video um, we're gonna just disregard that and then so this is the trick you guys being that um these canvases are flat and they're not like i didn't have an easel and then honestly there was no point of an easel because you're painting the edges of the canvas and you do this because when you put your picture on the canvas when you mod podge it on you're going to see like the edges of it like being white and then depending on what like the background of your picture is it looks really really weird so we went ahead and we painted the um edges and then like just a little bit of the base of the canvas black and it really makes the picture pop it makes it look three-dimensional and not flat it makes it look like an actual canvas and that's why i say to paint the edges black all right so like i said i was doing two canvases in this um video like for this time that i was doing these canvases so we did um you know have to paint two different canvases of course and then so also um we did do a second layer so after you paint the edges black one time because this is dollar store acrylic paint it wasn't really the best so um we did have to do like a second layer but it still got the job done like i didn't even i didn't even notice that you know it was looking it was cheap or anything like that you know paint is paint and especially for a project like this you really don't want to spend too much money because it's really not noticeable the pictures came out really really great in the end but the thing that you really want to focus on is paints making sure that a, a good amount of the edges of the canvas is painted black and honestly if you have time and if you have you know enough paint and everything like that if i were you i would go ahead and i would paint the whole base of the canvas black like just go ahead and paint it and then um let it dry of course and then you want to bring it back you're going to go ahead with your um, mod podge 
and also i suggest uh cutting your pictures before you even um start painting and everything like that because in the end stay stay with me all the way to the end you will see the bloopers i got paint on my picture and luckily i had assistance so i was able to get the paint off but um take your time when you're cutting because um it's gonna either make or break your canvas and i also if you have like that little machine that you used to that people be using to cut and then honestly you can even have them cut it at you know wherever you go whether it's cvs walmart wherever they print your picture for you at you can actually have them um cut it for you and not have to deal with all of this but yeah you just want to cut the white edges off and then after doing that you're going to get your mod podge yeah y'all i got real lazy and i was not doing enough of the work but that's why we have SOs. okay if you know what i'm talking about um we was just chilling taking snaps and stuff like that <laughs> It was really fun. I feel like this is a really fun family project, you know? So now you wanna take your Mod Podge and you wanna spill it all over. Ugh, you wanna spill it all over. And honestly, you guys, don't use the same paintbrush. Get different paintbrush. Don't be cheap like me. Get different paintbrushes because you're, and then also wait for your canvas to really fully dry before you do this because, yeah, Claudia was, yeah, uh uh. <laughs> And of course, the final step is you want to put your um, picture on your canvas and you have yourself a canvas portrait thingy mablobber and you did it yourself. Aren't you just so proud? So yeah, this is my second one. I definitely took my time more so with this one and um, I, yeah, took my time with it more. <laughs> So yeah, this is my second picture that I decided to do. These are my birthday pictures. That's why they're so fancy. I love, love, love these pictures. Like, and you guys will see in the end how I hung them up and where I hung them up at. They're so cute. So, so, so cute. And then I'm so glad that I chose these pictures. And yeah, when you're doing this project, make sure that you choose a picture that, you know, you really, really like. And so yeah, you guys, that's pretty much the project you know you just did it yourself aren't you just so proud like i was so happy i was so proud of myself look at me smiling and cheesing <laughs> but so yeah and then i went ahead and i hung them up in my room and i'll show you guys that thank you guys for watching there's bloopers at the end so <laughs> make sure you watch that as well get a little good old laugh in but yeah i want to see pictures of when you guys do these love you guys bye Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was finna write a song behind. Come, come, hurry up. Get a tissue. Put a little bit of water on it. Where you at? You got water? Oh. Oh, mother. It's okay.